Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I'm going to go over a few ways to hopefully speed up your Windows 10 network connection uh, with a few command prompt tricks. These are not very hard to do, and you're not really running the risk of hurting anything, so even if you're not an advanced user, these tricks should be safe to perform um, without doing much harm. The last one I'm going to show you requires administrator access to the computer, so if you don't have an admin account, you might have to call someone from IT to do this for you. All right, so let's open up the command prompt. Hit the Windows key and CMD. Enter to open that prompt. And here we are on the regular prompt screen. And to flush the DNS, you're just going to type ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And there we go. It's quick as that. Uh, the DNS cache basically stores website information that your computer pulls from DNS servers to speed up its connection. But over time, that information can go bad. It can be wrong. Um, and it's just a good idea to free it up, get rid of the clutter, and start anew. It's always nice to have a fresh cache, especially if you notice your network connection slowing down. The second thing we're going to do is refresh the IP configuration of the computer. So IP config is basically all the information that your computer has on the local networks that it's connected to. If, this com if your computer sits on a, a network for a long time with a regular connection, like a wired desktop at work, uh, over time this stuff can really get sluggish. So it's a good idea once in a while to refresh it. To do that, you just type a ipconfig forward slash or space forward slash renew, and it'll go through all your network connections and uh, and clean out the information with some new stuff. You can see my my LAN connections, my wired connections are disconnected, but my wireless LAN adapter was able to get a fresh address without a problem. Okay, and so for the last one, like I said, we've got to open a command prompt window as an administrator. This one we opened is not an administrator window. So I'm going to close this one, go back to the start menu, hit CMD, and then you'll see here you've got run as administrator. Click on that, and Windows will ask if you want to actually run it as an administrator. Say yes. And then with the command prompt open, you just type in net sh space winsock space reset. And this can take a minute sometimes, and it might require a computer's win. Oh, yeah, you can see there, it already refreshed it, and it's going to need a restart to complete it. WinSock is basically a uh, an, an intermediary protocol kind of between your computer and the external internet, and it kind of handles mapping all those little network connections that your computer needs and making things run properly. So again, another good thing to flush if you're having problems with your network connectivity. Okay, for Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in for more Windows tips and tricks just like this one.